Welcome back to my channel. So my last video, the one about the light reads, a light read, light reading list I did about the Suki Stackhouse. And I was, I mentioned the post office taking forever and like having issues to deliver this package I wanted to do on this video. And I told you in previous videos that I was planning on doing unboxings. Well, I just got my loot crate. Check it out. Now I used to subscribe to Loot Crate previously, but before it was like, I want to say a year ago, the boxes weren't really anything I was interested in. I was like, well, these are pretty shitty and I really don't like it. The pens were cheap. Everything was cheap and they weren't giving you anything because they were in introducing the DX boxes, the Loot Crate DX. So I decided to stop. But then lately I've been watching other videos and seeing that their crates have gotten better. So this month I decided to open them. Also, I'm opening a comic book shop. So all the stuff I don't like, I'll just put on sale there. So this is my loot crate. This is the June loot crate, uh, June 2016. Uh, the theme is Dystopia, which I'm really excited about. They say there's going to be a Fallout collectible in it. So let's cut the tape and see what's going on in here. Um, I'll leave all the details on how and where to get this box. Uh, it's about $25. Don't quote me on that. $25. I got the month to month plan because some months I don't like the box. Some months the theme doesn't call to me, but this month Dystopia is supposed to have the Matrix, Fallout, and something else. So you open the box and <laughs> yes, gross noises, gross noises. This this is what you get this is what you see in here okay okay it's a nice it's a nice box it says welcome to the wasteland a dystopia dystopian future awaits that's pretty freaking cool the boxes have gotten way nicer than back when i used to get them okay i'll give the shirt last ah that is really cool. Okay, so the first thing I saw is a Bioshock Infinite, which I love this game. Love this game. The key fell out because whatever. But it's a Bioshock Infinite blank key. I don't know if you can see that. And those of you who have played this game know it's the Sparrow or the Cage. Which this choice really doesn't matter in the game. You can choose either one. It's just supposed to be symbolic. But this is really cool. I don't know what to make this key into, but this is dope. It's a blank key, it's a real key, it's nice metal, and it's collectible, not a toy. It's really, really cool, and it's manufactured for Loot Crate, so this is a Loot Crate exclusive. This, I am into this, this is, I'm keeping this, I don't, I don't care. I love this game. I'm looking at myself, I don't know why I'm looking at myself, I'm sorry, but look, that's really cool. Okay, this is... A matrix puzzle. This was in the sci-fi thing too, the sci-fi box, not the sci-fi, it was time travel box. Was it time travel? I think it was sci-fi or time travel. They had a Rick and Morty puzzle. That was pretty cool. This is really cool. I don't really like the picture. It's kind of like lackluster and my box is kind of dented and all fucked up. But yeah, this is this, and it's pretty nice. I mean, I'm not against it. I don't know if I'm ever going to put it together because puzzles are like whatever for me. But, you know, this I like. This is a Bethesda Adorbs from... All right, hold on. This is an Adorbs from Funko. And I've always liked these little dolls. They're really cute. I've never collected them. I'm more of a pop vinyl kind of girl. So... This is a power armor suit from Fallout. If you haven't played Fallout, you should play those games. Uh, I really like the third one. I haven't played the fourth one yet because money. So here you go. It's a power suit. Uh, power armor, sorry. It's really cute. I probably will take it out of the box because it's not like it's an, it's not an exclusive. It's pretty, uh, you can probably get this at the store, which I guess is cool. Yeah, nowhere on it does it say it is a exclusive. But yeah, play Fallout. That's really good. And it shows all the other ones. You have get these two, the female and male survivor, the power armor, the vault boy, and this is a super mutant. Yeah, that's a super mutant. Fuck those guys, by the way. If you've ever played 
Fallout 3 and then gone into Washington DC. It's fucking swarming with these dudes and I tell you fucking hate Washington DC because of super mutants but that's really really cute and yeah I'm ex I'm kind of upset because you can just go to Hot Topic and probably get this because this is not an exclusive but I mean I'm not a beggar I was gonna say beggars can't be choosers but literally I paid money for this and if I really wanted this I could just go get it at Hot Topic that doesn't make this exciting loot crate this is not exciting to get things you can get at the store so far the key and the matrix things are cool because I think they're exclusives. I'm not sure if the puzzle is at all actually. I take that back. The key is really exclusive. <laughs> and I don't think this puzzle is an exclusive. Damn it, Loot Crate. You're disappointing me this month. Here's the June 2016 enamel pin dystopia. It is a nuclear bomb. <clears throat> and it is pretty cool let me just get this in focus and get the glare out you see that it's it's pretty dope so I really like this I'll put it on my other pins thing I have a bag full of pins so I'll put this on there it's really cute we'll get to my final thoughts at the end of this because I can't just and then this see on their website it's this Terminator metal thing and I guess it's for like the wall or something I'm gonna read the little magazine it's to describe all of these things to you guys but this crate is horrifically upsetting only because like that's it there's nothing else in here except a shirt now and I'm just like why why okay and now for the piece de resistance, the shirt. Now I get an extra large uh, 2XL because it's for my fiance, it's not for me because I don't really like crew neck shirts because I like to have my, my decollete to breathe. I like, I like the air to hit my skin. And it's also, I just, I hate fucking crew neck shirts. So let's just be real. So the shirt is this. Can you, can you see it? Can you, it's pretty, it's, let's see. I like that it's the old school RoboCop and not the new RoboCop. Uh, I like the shirt. It's really nice. And it says Alex Murphy as RoboCop. The graphic's pretty cool. It's two, three colored shirt. It's a nicely made shirt. It's a Loot Crate brand shirt. It's really soft. So I'm assuming this is a Loot Crate exclusive. And, you know, it's pretty nice. It's pretty good. So out of everything in the crate, my favorite thing was the Fallout, the, the Fallout, the Bioshock Infinite Sparrow or the Cage key, because I love that game, and it's just a really cool key, and it's like a gunmetal color. It's not like a bronzy or a silver color, so that's fun. Everything else is like, whatever. <sighs> Let's read, and then it came with this loot crate magazine i i have problems with loot crate just because like some of the boxes they also like cut down on the coolness of the boxes because you also they want you to get the level up or they want you to get more than this like if, if i wanted something more to this which i think i do i'd have to get the level up or the dx crate. so that's something to think about if you're thinking about loot crate sometimes the box by itself is lackluster and you should probably invest in getting the level up if you want more bang for your buck but also the level ups cost extra like for the female level up i think it's 10 more dollars on top of my 25 so it'd be 35 dollars and what if i don't like what's in that either what if that's like cheap and i can just go to hot topic and get that i don't like having to look at things and know like oh I can get this at Hot Topic because if if that's the case then I should have just fucking gone to Hot Topic you know what I mean so anyways I digress I am looking at this magazine so I can tell you what is in this crack oh so if you go on lootcrate.com and show and show your pin or whatever you get Fallout Shelter, like a, the game, Fallout Shelter. Oh, it's a DLC for Fallout Shelter. So I have that game on my tablet, and it's a game. It's a game 
where you manage your fallout shelter like you name your vault you give your vault the number and then you manage your shelter and all the survivors and you breed and you make sure the water and electricity and all that's good and it's a fun little cell phone game tablet game i played on my tablet and you get a exclusive wall play wallpaper ringtones and i think that's it which i mean i guess that's exciting if that's if that's what you're into so this exclusive bioshock infinite blank key for some the keys to change lies within in elizabeth's case it's literally in her hands and now it's in yours you can display this iconic item or get it cut to unlock whatever door you choose okay so that's a loot crate exclusive exclusive oh so the matrix the matrix puzzle is an exclusive and it says, is your mind as nimble as the good people of Zion? Let this 300 piece puzzle be your test. Featuring brand new artwork developed just for looters. And we're unveiling, unveiling it here. It's pretty cool. I don't, I'm not a puzzle person. I mean, I am, but I have no surfaces to do puzzles, whatever. I'm like this on here. All right, so, okay, it's all exclusive apparently. So this exclusive. Terminator 2 Metal Print, Loot Crate Lab. Yesterday's enemy can be today's friend who helps you defeat the shape-shifting puddle of dangerous metallic goop. We're not commemorating the 25th anniversary. We're commemorating the 25th anniversary of one of our favorite sci-fi films with this ever, with this ever, with this very special keepsake. I'm not sure what this is. <laughs> Really? Like, do I stick it on the wall? Do I, what do I, what do I do with this? What do I do with this? What is, do I just, I mean, my head's too big. I don't know. Okay. I'm not a Terminator fan either. So that's, that's just, that's just not my shit. Exclusive Robocop t-shirt. Greetings, citizen. Omni Consumer Products proudly presents the newest weapon against crime. From gray matter art, purveyors of cool, limited edition entertainment artwork, this graphic has never has never seen duty on a t-shirt before. We recommend cold wash, hang dry to prevent shrinkage and to keep the colors bright and vivid. So that's cool. It's an exclusive t-shirt that hasn't ever been a t-shirt before. And that's, I think, oh and the power armor adorbs so that's not an exclusive i like i said i'm pretty sure i've seen this at like gamestop and i've seen this at gamestop and uh hot topic this that's the wrong side this is not an exclusive which is like why then because i can go get this at the the place and they're not even that expensive like Bad. It'd been cool if this was like an exclusive, like it glowed or something. Power armor doesn't glow, but you know, radiation. I don't know. Something interesting. Maybe if it would say Brotherhood of Steel on it or something. I don't know. Protection against harsh landscape has never been so adorable. A big fan of the highly detailed paint and deco on the Adorbs line. We wanted to make sure your looters had one to add to their collections. For real though, like... I was super excited to get this box. Like that's why I was like stressing about the the mail. But now I'm like the shirt alone is worth the $25 because t-shirts do cost like 20 upwards to 20 and up in stores, especially shirts like this at Hot Topic or something. You would pay like $23, $24 for that. So that alone is worth the whole box because the shirt is dope and I know my boyfriend fiance will like that. But, and I like the pin, and the puzzle's cool. It's just, I know I'm never gonna put this together. Like, I don't, the key is cool, but then I wouldn't wanna put it in because keys are kind of temporary. So I don't think I'd ever turn this into a real key. So then it's just like, key. I might put this for sale in my store or just for sale. So if anybody's interested in this, Text me. Matrix is one of my favorite movies. I love this movie. The first one's amazing. The other ones are we we don't need to talk about that right now. That's another video for another time. But I love these movies and I was excited that the Matrix, Fallout, and Bioshock were gonna all be in the same crate because holy shit, that's like my holy trinity. I love all of those things. But Fallout games are my favorite. Bioshock games, 
shut your mouth. Bioshock Infinite was amazing, but nah, none of this shit makes me happy right now. Maybe I have too high standards, but I feel like they spent a lot of money on random things. Like, what is this for? And I'm not a Terminator fan, really, because it's so convoluted. The timelines in those movies, it's just like, they don't know what's going on anymore. All right, I'm gonna stop bitching to y'all. Yeah, so I don't, I'm not sure I'm gonna get the level ups. I don't even know what next month's box is. It also comes, the box also turns into the, like this cool um, Fallout 4 thing, like the garage setting in Fallout 4. And you can set your little, your little thingy in here to be with the other power armor back here. So there's that, but it's a box, it's like, I mean, it's cool. It was $25, so let's put it in perspective. It's $25, you get a dope shirt, so that alone covers the whole thing. It's worth it for this cool shirt because it has three colors. It's a soft shirt. It's, it's an exclusive art design. It's worth it for that. Like, I'm not dogging Loot Crate for that. It's just for me personally. It's not that exciting. This key is pretty cool. I really like this. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for. I really like this. And overall, this is cute, but I'm just upset because I could probably get this at Hot Topic. I could probably walk into GameStop right now and get this. So it's like, pourquoi? And probably would have liked a Vault Boy more. I don't know if people got different ones. No, no they didn't. They all got these. So, you know, the power arm is dope. I hate the Terminator thing. That's my personal thing. If you like the Terminator thing, get on it. And the puzzle's cool. I just don't think I'd ever puzzle. So, from that video, I also have another crate coming. I have a Geek Fuel crate. And let's see how that one turns out. <laughs> if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I know I have very uh, high standards for Loot Crate for some reason because they're supposed to be the top dogs in the crate game. So I might be a little too harsh in this review. And also because before their crates were shit and I was expecting something awesome. I don't know why. So if you guys like this video, if you like these videos, and just my honest personal opinion, honest personal, this is not like I hate on all loot crates. I just did not appreciate this box. I feel like they could have done more. I don't know why I think that, but it just, it feels, um, lackluster like I was expecting something more epic than a puzzle a toy and a piece of metal so maybe I'm just asking for too much maybe I'm just high maintenance that's maybe that's what it is but you know I'll probably order next month just because I want to see if it gets better I really like the enamel pins I really like the shirt and stuff so I'll leave all the pricing details of this box below and also you guys should look out for the level up stuff because I'm not sure but I really like the girl accessories level up and I don't know how much that is but I do one day want to try to get that and yeah so loot crate this box for me though is out of my box ratings it's like, so if this is good and this is bad, it's like right here. It's dead center. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Mildly disappointed. <laughs> so, look great.